sports fans, welcome to the Oklahoma Sports Report, OU Football Edition. I'm Ricky with me, Mark Rogers. And Mark, season's on its, I mean, on the doorstep next Saturday, kickoff, 11 o'clock, Arkansas State. What are your thoughts leading up to that first game? Well, I can't wait. I'm uh, happy football's back. It seems like it's been a kind of a long summer. There's a lot of excitement surrounding OU. Uh, we'll see what they what they can do. It's the last season of the Big 12 before going on to the bigger, more interesting things. Well, you know, lots of storylines swirling around. I mean, you know, questions about, you know, how this football team is going to perform. Uh, questions about uh, Brent Venables and how he is, he, he's professed to have a, a better defense this year. We will see. The offense looks to be better also. Um, and all those questions will be answered Saturday. So right now the excitement level is is top notch. And you know, going into Saturday's game, I think the fans just want to know kind of what they're going to see. I think we want to know what they're going to see too. I think we can feel pretty comfortable the offense is going to look good. It looked good last year. Uh, they've got a lot of good players coming back on that side of the football and experienced quarterback. On the defensive side of the ball, there's some new faces. Uh, they lost some players on defense. And so there's some question marks and some positions about depth. And so we will definitely see there. I, hey, if I'm Brent, I'm selling improvement too. They don't have, they don't have too far to go to improve. They were 122nd in total defense. <laughs> yeah, from 122nd, how far can they go? But, you know, we'll find out more Saturday. Um, you know, it's a typical OU opening game. I mean, it's going to be hot. There's going to be plenty of fans in the, in the stands. And uh, they're hoping and, and looking forward to having the best OU version they can see this year. Hey, we have a special guest joining us next segment. And for the rest of the show, Kale Gundy be with, will be with us when we get back. You are the most beautiful creation under the sun. Daily Jam Formations. You are going to make Table 14 so happy. And you, you are being taken away. All right. At Neighborhood Jam, you deserve breakfast as beautiful as you. So start the day right with scratch-made favorites, morning or midday, every day. Treat yourself to Neighborhood Jam. You're going to taste just as good tomorrow. Hook and Reel, Cajun restaurant and seafood bar here, uh, featuring signature drinks like the margarita and the hook punch, uh, of which we've tasted and very delicious, may I say. And they also have wonderful yep. signature uh, drinks, uh, but you got to come by and get the crab boils, or they got crab rolls, they got Cajun uh, crab fries, they've got crab chowder, and also uh, lobster bisque. All of that here available uh, at Hook and Reel Cajun Seafood and Bar. Oh man, dude, I really wish I could make that. Um, it's National No Pants Day, and that'd be kind of inappropriate. We actually just had gas station sushi, and you just don't want to chance that. We're going to be running tornado drills, like tornado drills all day. I have tickets to see Kenny Rogers. He's what? Tornado drill, tornado drill. Your friends are tired of coming up with excuses. Two Fellows Moving Company, saving friendships since 1996. Wonderful spirits distilled out of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Great line of spirits. They have Wander Folk Gin, Wander Folk uh, Vodka, and Old Moses uh, Bourbon. All of these are quality products, uh, and they're distilled right here in Oklahoma. So support Oklahoma business. Ask your favorite restaurant or bar to carry Wander Folk Spirits. EDS Paintless Dent Repair is your one-stop shop for auto body repair. Whether it be from hail damage, dents, scratches, or even glass replacement and repair, we can accommodate all your needs. Locally owned and operated since 2005, EDS Paintless Dent Repair is here for you. Give us a call at 405-476-1763 or go to EDSPaintlessDentRepair.com. At Laser Light Skin Clinic, our most popular treatment is now more affordable than ever. Right now, you can save up to 50% on Cool Sculpting, the number one choice for non invasive fat reduction. Our flexible treatment plans allow you to choose the option that is perfect for you. Focus on a single problem area or revive your life with a fresh new you. These are real results. For your personal Cool Sculpting consultation, call Laser Light Skin Clinic today. A new you awaits. And welcome. 
Welcome back, Oklahoma Sports Report, OU Football Edition. Mark Rogers, Ricky, and joining us right now, Kale Gundy, former coach and OU football player. Kale, welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thank appreciate you, appreciate you being it. on. Um, you heard Mark and I talk in the first segment about the, the first game. From a player and coach's point of view, Kale, I mean, how does it feel going into that first game? I'm sure the players are ready to hit somebody in a different color jersey. Yeah, they all are. I mean, the, the players, the coaches are ready. Um, you know, they've been going through camp for the last month, so a lot of meetings, a lot of long days. Um, you know, they don't have two days anymore, so it's it's kind of it's just practice all day. It's just kind of <laughs> practice and some meetings and walkthroughs. So this is an exciting time now because now you get a chance to go out and, and perform and get in front of the fans and uh, kind of show show everybody what you're all about. You know, and Mark, the, the coach has got to be. You know, they have to be ready to to start. You know, we want to see something that they can feel how the players react in a real game situation. I was going to ask you, if they, was there ever a year that you thought you were really surprised in one way or the other? I would assume that maybe Sam's, what was that, Sam's freshman year where surprised you don't with know what? With, with what, like we're pretty good or we're maybe better than I, we thought or we're not as good as we thought? or Well, most of the time we always thought we were pretty good. That's right, right. <laughs> and we, pro we usually were for the most part. Yeah. So. Um, and then, you know, there were a couple times that I, I think we felt like, wow, like we're really, really good. Yeah. You know? But you still got to play it out. You know, you still have, um, you know, new players trying to get young guys going. Um, you know, injuries, uh, you want to kind of stay away from that stuff. So there's a lot of a lot of dynamics that goes into it. And uh, But I know everybody's excited and, and ready to play on Saturday. You know, and during the summer, I mean, basically not only is it learning, you know, the, the play, and the formations and all of that. But you also want to make sure you just mention nobody gets hurt. Yeah. And OU has been very fortunate this year, no injuries. Now, it's a fine line, I know, between how do you play tough defense, how do you play good on good, and not get anybody hurt. It's tough. Uh, you know, back when we were all growing up and playing ball, I mean, we just, you just beat the hell out of everybody every <laughs> single day. And there was no concussions back then, and everybody played the whole season. You just had your bell run. No, everybody just, thought about I mean, that. That was just that was just par for the course. So nowadays there is that fine line, and, and you want to be aggressive. And so, um, but there's ways to uh, still be a, be aggressive in practice, and uh, you know, use different kind of equipment uh, as a defensive guy. But they still go at each other. I mean, I was I was at a couple practices, and I saw a couple fights over there. So they get after it pretty good. <laughs> So, you know, on the offensive side, Kale, um, everything revolves around Dylan Gabriel. Yep. I mean, last year he had a, a good year. Some would say, you know, they weren't real satisfied. But if you put your stats out there, he was a good quarterback. And I think with a year under his belt with Jeff Levy, again, in the OU situation, he'll be even better. Your thoughts on Dylan Gabriel? Well, he'll be better. He's been in the system for a lot of years. I mean, he's been with, you know, this from the, the Central Florida, uh, the, you know, Jeff Levy there. I mean, it's the same system. So um, he's a veteran. And, uh, I, I, again, he did have a good year last year. He was a, he was a good quarterback. Now, was he your first pick taken in the draft? Was he the Heisman guy that we're used to around here? No, he wasn't. But uh, he's still a good quarterback. And if you know you start going through the country and start picking, you know, the top several quarterbacks and, and who you want on your team, he's going to definitely be one of them that people are going to pick. Mark, you know, Dylan Gabriel is a player to me. I mean, you know, he's, he, you hope he makes the right reads, makes the right throws, doesn't make mistakes, runs the ball now this year with a little bit more authority, and they're not afraid to run. Dylan Gabriel this year. I think that the you know, running back position on the team is really pretty good. They've got multiple guys that they can put in there. Kind of let the running backs do the running of the football, maybe more than anything else. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they, they don't need Dylan running. Well, they're, I know, but I mean, back there. I understand yeah. that. But at the same time, there were some design plays for him to run that they can, can take advantage of certain formations that are advantageous to, to Levy's offense because he doesn't mind the quarterback running. But at the same time, you're right. I mean, they've got three top running backs yeah. and maybe four that they can get yardage out of, you know, with them back there. Speaking of which, what do you think about the running backs, Gail? Well, the running backs are, are very, very talented. I, 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 I know they've got at least two that, in my opinion, will be drafted uh, that will be in the NFL someday. And uh, they're young. The Javante Barnes and Gavin Salchuk are very good, very, very talented guys. And, uh, you know, Marcus Major, 
talented player. He's been there several years, had his ups and downs with some injuries. You know, it'd be great to be able to see him go through a whole season and stay healthy. So uh, they're stacked back there. But I'd, I'd like to see those guys. But you are right about about Coach Levy. I mean, there, there'll be some times that he'll have some design runs. But typically, those design runs are your type of runs that are, uh, you know, pulling it out, uh, pull, you know, pulling the ball out from the inside zone and, and getting out the backside. We don't want him running up between the tackles. <laughs> you know, I mean, you remember, the you, big guys you remember last year? You remember last year in a game or two when he did not play for the Sooners? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we, don't, we don't, don't want to be in that situation. I know they got a young quarterback who's good now, mm -hmm. but we don't want to no, be in that situation. No, you don't want to have to go to that too often. Uh, Mark, now you have a, a, a new, um, so a new thing to yeah. announce. It's exactly. coming this Friday. Yeah, Kayla and I are uh, have been working for uh, the last several months with Coach Switzer on Sooners Access, and, and that's what it's going to be. It's going to be access to the Sooners legends and greats, including Coach Switzer, Coach Stoops, Toby Keith, Kale, former players. You're going to be able to hear a lot of things that you may not have ever heard before, kind of locker room in between stuff, and a chance to interact with those people in person. Uh, and so it's going to be a fun time. We can't wait to get off the ground. Sooner Access launches this Friday, and people need to sign up now. Yeah, sign up now, and uh, we'll, we're going to launch things in cycles, and there's going to be different times during the year. So we'll get you signed up. It'll be a good time. I look forward to being a part of uh, seeing that yeah. and, and, and uh, being a part of that from the backside and access, accessing Sooner. Hey, we'll be right back after this. You are the most beautiful creation under the sun. Daily Jam Informations. You are going to make Table 14 so happy. And you, you are being taken away. All right. At Neighborhood Jam, you deserve breakfast as beautiful as you. So start the day right with scratch-made favorites, morning or midday, every day. Treat yourself to Neighborhood Jam. You're going to taste just as good tomorrow. Hook and Reel Cajun Restaurant and Seafood Bar here, uh, featuring signature drinks like the Margarita and the Hook Punch, uh, of which we have tasted, and very delicious, may I say. And they also have wonderful yeah. signature uh, drinks, uh, but you got to come by and get the crab boils, or they got crab rolls, they got Cajun uh, crab fries, they've got crab chowder, and also uh, lobster bisque. All of that here available. Uh, at Hook and Reel Cajun Seafood and Bar. Oh man, dude, I really wish I could make that. Um, it's National No Pants Day, and that'd be kind of inappropriate. We actually just had gas station sushi, and you just don't want to chance that. We're gonna be running tornado drills, like tornado drills all day. I have tickets to see Kenny Rogers. He's what? Tornado drill, tornado drill. Your friends are tired of coming up with excuses. Two Fellows Moving Company, saving friendships since 1996. Wonderful spirits distilled out of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Great line of spirits. They have Wander Folk Gin, Wander Folk uh, Vodka, and Old Moses uh, Bourbon. All of these are quality products, uh, and they're distilled right here in Oklahoma. So support Oklahoma business. Ask your favorite restaurant or bar to carry Wander Folk Spirit. EDS Paintless Dent Repair is your one-stop shop for auto body repair. Whether it be from hail damage, dents, scratches, or even glass replacement and repair, we can accommodate all your needs. Locally owned and operated since 2005, EDS Paintless Dent Repair is here for you. Give us a call at 405-476-1763 or go to edspaintlessdentrepair.com. At Laser Light Skin Clinic, our most popular treatment is now more affordable than ever. Right now, you can save up to 50% on Cool Sculpting, the number one choice for non invasive fat reduction. Our flexible treatment plans allow you to choose the option that is perfect for you. Focus on a single problem area or revive your life with a fresh new you. These are real results. For your personal Cool Sculpting consultation, call Laser Light Skin Clinic today. A new you awaits. You are the most beautiful creation under the sun. Daily Jam Informations. You are going to make Table 14 so happy. And you, you are being taken away. All right. At Neighborhood Jam, you deserve breakfast as beautiful as you. So start the day right with scratch-made favorites, morning or midday, every day. Treat yourself to Neighborhood Jam. You're going to taste just as good tomorrow. 
Hook and Reel Cajun Restaurant and Seafood Bar here, uh, featuring signature drinks like the Margarita and the Hook Punch, uh, of which we've tasted, and very delicious, may I say. And they also have wonderful okay. signature uh, drinks, uh, but you got to come by and get the crab boils, or they got crab rolls, they got Cajun uh, crab fries, they've got crab chowder, and also uh, lobster bisque. All of that here available uh, at Hook and Reel Cajun Seafood and Bar. And welcome back. Kale Gundy, Mark Rogers, Rick Heath here from the garage in Norman on Main Street, home of the burgers and beer, the best burgers in town, coldest beer, great place to come. They have a lot more food than just burgers, but it's all good. So when you come here to the garage, which are our seven locations throughout the metro, find your neighborhood garage, come in, have burgers, beer, and a lot of other good food here at the garage. Uh, gentlemen, we didn't get a chance to talk before we go to defense. Let's talk wide receivers. That may be a position that they're looking to have some of these um, transfers come in, or maybe the young guys grow up and be a part of. Cam? Yeah, they, they need they need some guys to step up. They've got some. They've got a lot of very talented players in there, and they just need some guys to, to step up. Um, some guys kind of on the outside. You know what you're going to get inside with Drake Stoops. I mean, he's going to be the most consistent player on that offense every single snap throughout the season if he stays healthy. He's a dynamic player. Uh, you've got a young Gavin Freeman who's, you know, from Oklahoma City that's a, going to be a second-year player that's, uh, you know, kind of similar to what Drake does. They'll be trying to find different ways to get him the ball in, uh, you know, different different formations, different motions. And uh, But you need the guys on the outside. You need the Jalil Farouks. You need the Nick Andersons. You need the Jaden Gibsons, um, the transfer from Michigan. And Anthony, 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 yeah. Andrew yeah. Anthony, the speedster. Uh, so we, OU needs these outside guys to be really good players, just not average players. We need somebody to step up to be a uh, first-team all-conference wide receiver. A MIMS if, type. If, if they can get that out of some of those guys, they got a chance to be really good. And by the way, we got Austin Stogner back, the big tight end who played here a few years ago that was at South Carolina. So we just need some we need some all-conference players there. You know, Mark, that, that Caleb mentioned Stogner. Stogner might be the only established tight end that's on, you know, the team that there's some guys behind him. Not a lot of experience, not real pass-catching, you know, type tight end. So they're going to need a big year out of Stogner, too. Yeah, tight end can be a really important piece of an offense. We see a lot of pro teams go to three tight end sets. Uh, that are great in the run game, but can also be difficult to defend in the passing game. So uh, that's maybe a facet that they can kind of build upon going forward. Gentlemen, let's talk to the other side of the ball where, uh, as you mentioned earlier, 122nd last year rating uh, defense. Got to be better. Brent Venables knows it's got to be better. He has taken um, steps to make it better, bringing a lot of new players, a lot, especially up front in the, the uh, defensive line. Kale, talk about that defense and what you would like to see uh, do better this year besides everything <laughs> stop people tackle people get off the field yeah. you know third third quit, quit, down quit, defense. quit complaining because the offense is three and out you go three out and get off the field <laughs> um, you know and i hey um, it, it, it's just hard to explain what happened last year. Uh, it was not a was not a good season at all defensively. Uh, they went out and got a lot of new players. They went out and hit the transfer portal, um, but you don't really know how those guys are going to be. You know, there's there's huge question marks on transfer players, and uh, you just don't really know how they're going to be. I, I do I do believe that there are more depth across the defensive side, uh, so. I think that'll help them in some games in some third and fourth quarters to rotate some guys. But again, it's kind of like the offense and the wide receivers, Mark. They need some guys to step up and be great players. I, I don't know who that is. Who's the best player on defense? I, I don't know. I think they got some talented guys, but they need some all-conference players at the end of the year. And do they have that yet? I don't think they do. If, if, we don't, they're unidentified if they are. If you ask me the best player on defense is, I probably answered Danny Stessman. Now, after that, I think it's guys that they're hoping will be good which is Deshaun McCullough, uh, potentially Peyton Bowen in the secondary, the, the guys that you've heard a lot about. But, uh, again, it's easy to get caught up in the hype and here we're going to be better, we're going to be better, but you've you got to see it and go out there and prove it. 
Well, you know, and that's the one area that Brent Venables is most worried about, obviously, and should be, because he is defensive-minded, and sometimes he got sidetracked because of that last year. And to me, that's one of the biggest question marks. Will the defense improve, and will Brent Venables uh, be able to spend less time with them? And we'll talk more about that when we come back here on the Oklahoma Sports Report. Welcome back. Final segment, Oklahoma Sports Report. Rick Heath, Mark Rogers, Kale Gundy from the garage in Norman on Main Street, where you can come in and get one of the best burgers in town, coldest beers, and great food all around here at the garage. Gentlemen, how much pressure is on Brent Venables going into his second year overall? I mean, he came in with a lot of hype. People thinking, well, look, we've got our defensive coach. It hasn't happened yet. Um, if it starts getting a little rocky, how are the fans going to take this? They're not going to take it very good. Uh, that's just so you football. I mean, that's just, there's, you know, our, uh, these people, our people around here are spoiled. And uh, it is what it is. There's just no way around it. Whether they, whether they mean it or not, they're not going to take it good. So um, we'll see how that plays out. I, I can can talk about this better than anybody. You, when you're winning, like at extremely high levels, there's still pressure, right? I mean, when when's the next when's the next national championship, coach? You know, it's well, even if you don't beat somebody by as many points I, as you I, should. His job is not going to be under uh, under speculation at the end of the season. I, I don't think that's fair after two years, uh, no matter what it looks well, like. Not and from the hierarchy, not from the administration, I mean, but the fans are the ones well, that the are going to be I, I don't I don't think that's fair from the fans. I mean, uh, this, it's the same to me. I mean, fans are going to be upset if they lose, but. I think they'll win enough games this year. I think the pressure could really set in next year when the schedule becomes a lot more difficult. Uh, and there's going to be some games on there that aren't aren't really easy to win. And it, and it would have been, you know, you that's be navigated next year. I just don't think he's under any pressure this year. I, I think that you know we talked about this. He, he I think Brent needs to be a better head coach, uh, and uh, that, that's you know obligations during the during the curse of a game. And he, I know Brent, he gets so caught up in that defense, and he just, he's hands-on, he wants to be in the middle of it, uh, but and he needs to, he needs to be able to leave some of that alone and be that head guy and, and make some better game, game-changing calls. Now, how, how hard would it be to have somebody in the press box in his ear giving him updates on total game situations? They do it. They did it last year. <laughs> I think all you need to do is, is just kind of, to me, is it look at the intensity in which Brent is calling the defensive plays. I, and I think it was even some that way, you know, in, in the spring game. It's just, he, I don't know how much passion you have to dedicate to something, but he's dedicated a lot of passion to coordinating the defense. So I think that it's a lot to ask him, uh, really anybody, to, to be able to separate themselves. And I part. understand that, but to be a, a head coach, you have to be able to manage the game during the game itself and not be, you know, so so involved in one side of it that you miss maybe uh, an important decision that's happening on the field. Uh, do we do we challenge that? Do we do we make, call a timeout here? I, I think those stop momentum. I, I think there? a lot of coaches, some coaches transition naturally, naturally. Bob Stoops did. He found Mike Leach and said, "This is a guy I want." I got my brother uh, that I'm very comfortable with on the defensive side of the ball, so I'm going to oversee the whole football program. Other guys, it takes some time. I think Mike would tell you that. I mean, Ken would tell you that Mike. It took him a little while, but turned the offense over to somebody that he trusted, and things started going a little bit better. So it's possible that I think it, at one point in time he could be like, "Okay, I'm going to be able to relinquish coordinating this defense and see a bigger picture." Well, he's got some guys on staff uh, with good head coaching experience. If he'll listen, he's got Matt. He's got Matt Wells. Yeah, you know, he's the head coach at Texas Tech. He's got Seth Latrell. Those are the guys that are there. Those are the analysts, and that's their job. That's their they're his eyes and ears when when he can't be that guy. Yeah. That, that that's what I hope personally that I see more of is him being able to delegate no some of the defense and be over there and be more in charge of the game. One uh, real quick, Kale. Um, what do you want to see as a coach to come out of that first game? You want to see a clean game, and when I mean clean, you want to see you know as few as penalties as, as they can have. Uh, you want to see turnovers. Uh, you want to see defensively going out there, getting lined up. Don't give up any deep balls on top of you. Uh, let's be able to tackle in space, and let's be able to stop the run, and um, and then get out of there healthy. 
Three, three and out defense. Mark, on, on the offense, what are you looking for? Points. A bunch of them. They should score against Arkansas State. I don't think they're very good on defense, so uh, I would expect uh, the offense to look pretty. Everybody's going to be really happy, I think, Saturday afternoon. If they're not, then we have a, a better show next week. <laughs> yeah, we got, you guys will be happy. If they're not in it, that's not good. It's not. It's not, it's not a, hey, real quick, again, tell them about Sooner Access. Uh, Soonersaccess.com. You can go and sign up, and that means we'll give you all the information. We're excited to uh, share it with everybody starting on Friday and then uh, on down the line. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. We'll see you next time on the Oklahoma Sports Report.